Hey guys, this is our weekly Team Live and Love Team TCB call, and it is October 9th and this year is flying by. Um, as of today, we have 12, or as of yesterday, not today, um, we have 12 weeks left in 2018. And so tonight we're gonna talk about how to maximize that, how to make you move your business forward in these last 12 weeks, and also talk about a really big goal that Amber and I have for our teams and how we can all come together and make it happen. Um, so thank you guys for all hopping on live or watching this recording, um, but really excited for this. So we are just going to kick this off. Um, but yeah, so like I started this call by saying, we have 12 weeks left in this year, which makes me like want to vomit a little bit. Like I said that to Amber this morning and I was like, but we actually have six weeks left to start qualification for elite, um, which is a big goal that Amber and I have both had for years um, for our teams. And this is this year, I feel like this is the closest we've ever been. And the thing is with this goal, it's not just a Amber and Kate goal. It's like a we goal. It's not an us goal. It's a we goal because it takes the team coming together. It takes you guys being successful with this business and it takes all of us hustling, all of us working, all of us contributing and helping people to make it happen. Um, Amber and I have already done what we can do. Sorry, my cat's giving a shit in the background. <laughs> um, but we've already done like what we can do. We have made the elite points. Actually, you guys help contribute to those elite points. Um, but we really want to help you guys end 2018 on a very strong note so you can go into 2019 with record pay weeks moving your business forward creating a residual income with that transform 20 launch and really building a team because that's long term where that big vision income where those big vision goals will come from is from building a team and making this something um, that will last and making this like a real business so um if you guys don't know what elite is, I will cover that very, very quickly. Um, so obviously you guys all start out when we become coaches as like coach rank, then as you guys, most of you know, once you open your business, you're officially Emerald. That's your first like rank advancement. The next rank advancement is diamond. Then we have star diamond ranks. So once you get to five star and you have a hundred, is it 130 elite points? I don't remember how many points we need. I think so. That sounds right. I don't know. I know we have the points, um, but you I've have had the points this uh, last year too. Yeah, I've had the points for the last four years, mm -hmm. <laughs> but the elite points are based off of our success club numbers, our team's volume, um, our customers volume, and also you guys hitting success club as well, which Basically, elite means it is the duplication of success and not just like one person's success, but a team success as a whole. And so it's not, like I said, it's not just like this Amber and Kate goal, because hopefully you guys all have this on your vision board for your own businesses as well and your future teams and your teams that you're building right now that you want this because there are so many benefits that come with being elite. There is so much recognition and that's what I really want for our teams. Like I want to walk into summit next year and walk across stage with Amber and represent you guys and represent us showing up and hustling really hard to make these last 12 weeks better than any 12 weeks that we have had this year. Like it's going to be hard. It's going to take work. But again, it's not just about what you're doing now for what will happen in these next 12 weeks, but it's really what sets your business up for all of 2019 too. So hopefully you guys are thinking about that and not just thinking about, well, if I miss success club this month, or if I don't grow my business this month, I have next month or I have 2019. If you think in that mindset, you're going to be stuck in that mindset and your business isn't going to move forward. You have to think about how every person that you help, every coach that you sign up, every 
um, rank advancement that you make happen now for your business will propel your business forward and give you that momentum to create an outstanding 2019 for yourself. And something happens when you guys go diamond, something happens. This is one thing we're going to talk about. Like you guys get a new confidence for yourself. You guys already have it. It's already there. But when you actually see that in your back office and you see that rank advancement and you see your team growing and you see your team duplicating your success, like your confidence in yourself and this business, when you start seeing your income, income grow, like changes. And that's what we want for all of you guys. And I want you guys to think about how that feels tonight. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the diamond roadmap and everything. Um, but to touch back on elite really quick. So what that means is that we have five diamonds, like personally, I have, would have five, at least five personally sponsored diamonds. Amber and Amber needs at least five personally sponsored diamonds um, from our downline to go elite. And um, I know a lot of you guys have this goal. And again, diamond just means you're growing a team and you're starting to build a residual income for yourself. You are starting to earn um, bigger paychecks. You're starting to help more people. You are starting to share more about the coaching opportunity. Like your business as a whole grows with Diamond. There are so many benefits to it. You get added to the Set Your Soul on Fire Roundtable group and other leadership opportunities. Um, but we really need to rally as a team because again, Amber and I have wanted this so badly for years. And I honestly thought I would have already had it locked in. Like, I think Amber and I both did when we came into this year. We're going to like, we're going to have elite locked in like halfway through the year. We're going to make it happen. And that's not always how life happens. <laughs> and that's just the reality. And in the past years, I think I know myself personally, when we got to this point in the year, I was like, oh, well, next year. Oh, well, like it's, I'm just setting myself up for, to make it happen as a team next year. And this year, Amber and I talked about it. We're like, no fuck it. <laughs> like we're still going to make it happen. We still have 12 weeks. Actually, we have six weeks as a team to lock it in. Um, 12 weeks total because you have to go into qualification, which basically means you have to hold your rank. We all have to hold our ranks as a team for six weeks. And so we have six weeks to start that qualification. Um, but I really hope that even if you guys, I've heard people say this before, like, and I hate asking for help because this is individual. Like this is a business, like it's our own individual businesses, but it's also like, we are a team. We're here to do this together. And for Amber and I to make this happen for our team, we need you guys and we need you guys to step up. And it's not just for us, but when you step up, you're stepping up in your business, in your life, and you're going to see those results come forward as well. So that's what we're here. It's a kind of help like ask you guys for help tonight. Like, <laughs> and it's not to say we won't be hustling hard with you. We will, we will be in the trenches. We will be doing everything we can to make it happen as well. But, um, we also can't do it alone. And, um, I just really want you guys to think about tonight, not just where you want to be in 20 at the end of 2019, like really think about how you want to start that year, how you want to feel going into that year, how, what momentum you want to create, what kind of income you want to see, what kind of rank advancements you want to see, what kind of fitness results you want to see, how many people you want to help, because it all starts right now. And I say that every single call, because no matter what day it is, no matter what time of the month it is, like your life is already always like one decision away from changing. And that starts with you taking control and ownership of your business. And that's what I want to like inspire you guys to do tonight um, because we can't do this alone and we're here to help each other. So I'm going to shush up for a second. <laughs> I didn't really have a plan of what I wanted to say other than I agree with everything Kate says. Um, you know, when Kate talks about being a five-star elite team and, you know, she and saying like, I'll be a five-star elite team too. Like I know that I'm part of that helping her. And I like knowing that, you know, like, so when you guys, if you're my personal sponsor coach and you become one of my diamonds, like you're, it's all a team, you know, like Kate's saying, um, and when I 
and when you become diamond, obviously there's so many perks. Um, I feel like it just gives you that win. I mean, Emerald is a great first win, but diamond is like, it's just more prestigious. You get higher pay. Um, it really means that you've built a solid team, but it's not that hard, really. I mean, it's eight coaches. That's it. Eight coaches under you. Two have to be Emerald. So we're going to talk about that. But I think that we make it this big thing and it's really not. And, I, and I'm reminded that it's not that big of a thing when I, and I keep talking about this because I've just really had this epiphany this year, you know, being in the business this long with Kate and just kind of trucking along. And I keep thinking, well, I'm just going to find people that are self-motivated and they're just going to do their thing. And then it's going to be great. We're all just going to be doing our thing. But something has to change, you know, and, and I know you guys know we're here to help you, but you have to want to do this too. It can't just be because we want it. And I'm reminded when I always talk about Emily Favre, but then even on the national makeup call that we just had on Monday, these are women that were one or two star coaches. Like Emily was a one star coach in April and she was a 15 star diamond by June. All that means is her team just rallied. Just like you guys all here right now, like everyone just was like, all right, let's do this. And I feel like as soon as one of you guys goes diamond, it's going to like ignite the rest. I feel like everyone's going to start popping and popping. And I don't know if it has something to do with you guys look at us as being in the business longer and like maybe there's some self doubt there, but dude, people every day are going diamond in like really short amount of times. They're not more like special. They're more, not more qualified. They're not like, they don't have a better transformation story. Like there's literally nothing, you know, cause I even find myself doing that thing where I'm like, what do they have? What's their it factor? It's not anything other than they just, decided that they were going to make it happen. And yeah. And so, yeah, basically, you know, it's like, we could totally in the, in this year as a five-star team, I have one diamond, I need four more. Um, but I know that everybody that shows up to these calls, like wants to do this and it can happen if we all push. And what I want to do is, you know, when Kate told me that this morning, like we've got six weeks, I mean, it was also like 6.30 in the morning. So I was just like, shut up, Kate. Like, I don't want to hear this right now. Because in my head, I literally am like, I've kind of thrown in the towel. And like, not going to cry. And I was like, no, fuck that. <laughs> like, I'm not throwing in the towel. So like, you, a lot of you guys got messages today for me. Um, I swear I'm just hormonal. So just, <laughs> just ignore me. Poor Hannah. She's not on the call today. I like totally just cried to her on the phone. I'm like, I'm so sorry. This is not about me. This is about you, <laughs> not me. But like, I want to, you know, you guys know, Kate's always been there. I've always been there, but we are here for you guys to whatever you need. Do you need accountability? Do you need to be pushed? Do you need like one-on-ones, like whatever it is, like I'm done just sitting back and letting you guys just come at me when you're ready. Like we need to, if we decide together, we want to do this and let's, just do this. And cause I'm excited. I haven't stopped being excited, but I've definitely felt myself pull back here and there because I struggle with, like, I don't want to micromanage people, but I really want, I know we can do it. You know, like I look at all your guys' faces and I'm like, dude, we should all be diamonds. Like there's no reason why we can't be. Um, so that's just like my honest gut truth. You know, like it's not about Kate. It's not about me. It's about all you guys. And the reason why I broke down to Hannah today is because Hannah has been a coach with me, she was a customer lead that I, that joined, she saw me at my first summit. So I'd only been a coach for under a year and she was like a customer lead that was just given to me cause she bought Shakeology. And then she saw me at summit and was like, I want to be at summit with you next year. I'm going to be a coach. And so she's been at the last three summits with me and she, you know, I want her to make some money. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, dude, like, everyone should be opening checks and like getting rewarded for their hard work and their efforts. And you know, there's no reason I just got emotional thinking about how I, I just want it so bad, you know, for you guys too. I don't, I don't, I don't want Kate to make all the money. I don't want to make all the money. I want us all like, I want you guys to exceed me, <laughs> like make more money than me. That'd be great. But it just starts with, um, I mean, showing up to these calls like you guys have been doing, but just seriously, we're going to, I'm going to stop blabbing and we're going to talk about a diamond roadmap because I think it's really important to just visualize it. Like literally just write it out. Like, even if you don't know who these people are be like, Jane Doe is going to go there. Like, like we're going to visualize it and you're going to see how freaking easy it really is. And then you can start thinking about who you want those people to be.
yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Okay, so I'll share the screen. Oh, I actually should pull that up. That would be helpful. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'm going to share the screen in just a second. Um, but that's the thing, too, is, like, when we say this, I want you guys, like, you guys all came into this business for a reason. You came here because you want to do something with it, whatever it is. Like, it's different for everybody. Um, hold on. Now I made that too big. But it's the reason why you're here, and a lot of it is income-based. A lot of you guys want to either leave a job or you want to be able to financially support your family or um, you just want to be able to take your family on vacation or you want a little extra spending money. You want to not have to live paycheck to paycheck lives. Like, I see it all the time, this quote that always hits home for me, but I think it's really important to remember, like, we weren't just put here um, to pay bills and die. <laughs> so, like, if you're struggling, you can make the choice every single day to, like, stop and start really working your business. Okay. So, let's see. Can you guys see this? Everybody can see it. Yeah. Okay. So, here is a diamond roadmap um zoomed in for you guys so you can actually see and why i like this one one it's just a pretty image um but what i love about it is that what i think is really important with this is that you guys are writing out um when you're actually going to make it happen and whether or not it happens on that date um, like it's important to push yourselves. Honestly, I say like 30 days, there's no reason why this should take longer than that. Um, I made it take a lot longer than that, but once I finally decided it just happened and that is what will happen for you guys too. If you, once you, it's not just about deciding, it's not just about affirmations. It's about making the decision and then actually doing the work. I think a lot of the times we confuse deciding on mulling things over on procrastinating. We're like, Oh, well I'm, I've decided I'm going to make it happen, but you're procrastinating the actual work behind the decision so you haven't actually decided to do the thing until you start doing the work behind the thing so that being said it is important to have a date and when you write this out like pen to paper your brain like the chemistry in your brain changes if you put this in front of you where you're going to see it every day you are more likely to make it happen because you're just seeing this and you're like this is what i'm working towards this is what i'm going to make happen so um i am a diamond coach on and you write that date out um i would say no later especially if you really are interested in helping the team as a whole make elite happen this year and you want to walk into summit like knowing that you are a part of an elite team and i'm just saying like this is where we're going to end the year but where we could be by summit is going to be huge um this is just like a stepping stone to that so i'm a diamond coach on and then what i love about this is each little placement for your future coaches has a goal date and again writing these dates are like super important because then you're more likely to stick to something. It's just like our fitness journey. You guys, if you schedule your workouts, if you write out your meal plan, like you're more likely to stick to it. Same thing here. So what you need to be diamond, like Amber said, you need eight personally sponsored coaches who have to be active, meaning you need at least 50 PV on home direct or more. Um, and then you need two emeralds, which is basically just duplicating you going emerald um so that again just means they have to have two personally sponsored coaches and they have to be active and you need one emerald on each leg and what i would do here obviously is write out prospects and this is why amber said you can do like you can write jane doe here or whatever but like we all know those people and we'll share this in the team page for you guys um but i just wanted to share that so you could like see the visual like eight people or I guess it's 12 total because once it's eight, 10, 12, but like, it's not that many people. We all know that many people. <laughs> we all know people who would support us and who would do this. And you guys all know people who would rock at this. We did the 24 hours to Emerald call last week. Um, and we've done like the coach invite call. Like you guys all have the tools. It's just time to really put it into action and stop saying you're going to do something and do the work to make it happen. Um, I mean, really, that is it, and there's no reason why you can't do it, and no reason why you shouldn't want to do this for yourself and for your business, and if you're not just thinking about who you can do this for, it's like yourself, your family, your future family, 
us as a team because again, we're all in this together. And I think that I just want to add that it's super cool that me and Kate have both achieved the elite points because that means that we have a team that's working. You know, we've got, we're recruiting new coaches. You guys are hitting success club. Um, you know, those points are happening. That doesn't, we don't have a dead team. We've got a team that's working. The problem is we just don't have those rank advancements. Like we, you guys aren't ranking advance, getting higher in rank. So you're not getting paid as well as you could be or applying yourself maybe as much as you could be. Um, and I just think, that it's kind of this in between if you're sometimes making money and sometimes not like I really want this to be like a consistent thing even if you had an off week you still get a paycheck like that's ideal so um and that will happen I mean when you start to build your team um I think when is the date I think Lindsay asked when? what's the date to help to go to elite yeah what so I know it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving it's that Thursday so that Thursday morning. So it'd have to be like the Wednesday. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So you know the date on that? Where's it from? 21st. Okay, so November 21st. But then we need to hold it for six weeks, and that's always not stressful. No, holding. <laughs> and just so you guys know, when we talk about qualification, what this means is everybody. So if you guys have ever noticed, if you've, please just, if you are on this call or watching this call, please be active. Like if you're not active and you're on this call or you want to build your business, like you need to be active. It means again, at least 50 PV, just stay on Shakeology Home Direct. If you're like, I just don't know how I'm going to pay for it. Then this is why you need to work your business. This is why you need to go diamond. This is why you have to like make this happen for yourself. Because if you're helping at least three people a month, if you're building your business, going diamond will make that happen. I had a coach who like stopped working her business years ago. Um, she actually just recently put in her coach cancellation, but she was Emerald forever. Um, and, but she was almost diamond before, but like just where she was out in my organization growing, she was making like $200 a month being like an Emerald. My cat just threw a cat toy at me. <laughs> this is just in my hand, sorry. Um, but <laughs> I was like, oh, um, that's just my life. Um, but she makes like, or she was making like $200 a month or more, and she wasn't even working her business. And I like, it drove me crazy because she was just sitting there and wasn't doing anything. But I'm like, you could be making so much more. Um, where was I going with this? I had a point somewhere. Anybody? You're, okay, so city the where you are in the organization i mean that also shows that if you stay you're saying staying active so oh, if you stay yeah. active at the very least yeah and you're emerald um, yeah you're so, still gonna be you're keeping your place in the organization so as we keep growing yeah. i don't know i feel like don't ever quit like what don't ever quit and don't and always stay active because even if you're sorry just cut you off kate but like say you did get to emerald or even diamond and just like chilled there you would still be like every year making more money just because like the rest of the organization is building. I mean, please don't do that. But it's just like, <laughs> instead of quitting, even if you're having a rough time, you don't have to be like, well, I'll screw this. I mean, you can literally just keep it until you're ready to like reapply yourself. Um, but I would even say like, keep going and don't like put yourself off like that because that just puts yourself in a rut. Um, but what I was saying, oh, I remember where I was going with this. So staying active will really help the team as a whole. It also means you're committing to your health and fitness because you guys should be drinking your Shakeology every day. Um, that's the backbone to this business or the performance line um, or beach bars. Like there's so many ways to like stay active. Um, but what we mean for like this qualification. So basically, um, once you are going into Star Diamond ranks, you, your, you have to hold your rank along with your coaches underneath you, the person who advanced for six weeks in order to achieve a lifetime rank of whatever it is. So, um, when I went to star, I had to hold my diamond. Amber had to hold her diamond and my old coach who was with me, who helped me get to do star had to hold her diamond. We all had to hold it consecutively together for six weeks, making sure everybody was active, at least eight people. Um, all of the emeralds were good. Uh, and it just gets harder as like, and the thing is you guys don't really have to do that much work with it. It's really going to be up to Amber and I, because we, it's like, 
looking at all of the things, making sure everything's in line to like stay week by week to make it happen. So if it can happen earlier, um, it's easier because if something does happen, then we have wiggle room to fix it. Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes weird things happen. Like if somebody postpones their order and you don't know. So when you look at your downline, um, it'll say, it'll go red, like before the week's end, it'll go red. It'll say, in, it'll flash inactive. Or it'll be red. And that's saying warning this person, your coach is going to be inactive. That means that they haven't placed their home direct order. So usually that's, that's basically beach body being like, red check on this person so then you can check on your coach and be like what's going on and then they're like oh it's i'm ordering something tonight or whatever um and so that's basically yeah you guys don't have to worry about that right now you just have to worry about getting yourself to diamond and just making sure that everybody in your downline is going to be active i mean i have a lot of coaches that are in my downline that are not active um but i always make sure to keep my diamond by making sure that i always for sure have four on each side that are active and then there's always you know emeralds so yeah <laughs> i feel like this goal has been all over the place we really yeah. didn't bring it. we just knew we wanted to like hopefully motivate you guys to take the next 12 weeks and do the best that you can and do it for yourself, for the team and for your goals and like not wait any longer because anytime you choose to wait, anytime you choose to like procrastinate, you're just telling yourself that your dreams don't matter or that your dreams are going to wait or that like you, you're like, sabotaging your dreams you're telling yourself your goals don't matter and they do and you should be making that income you should be making whatever you want to happen with this business happen and you are beyond capable we all are so beyond capable of this it's just that decision and then backing that decision up it's like declaring the goal making the decision and then backing it up with the work that it takes to make it happen <laughs> yeah does anybody have any questions about elite or getting to diamond i know we have a few girls on here that are really new so i'm sure that you're like what is even happening i'm not even emerald yet but like it's okay to think bigger and just be like you know open open to what's next because and i think back to when i was new and i always try to like say this like i didn't i didn't really understand the business and i didn't really understand you know, team bonus cycles and all this stuff. I just thought it'd be cool to be diamond. Cause I feel like that's the next step. <laughs> and then that, but then it was when, you know, that's when I started to see like definitely bigger paychecks. So, um, you know, there's no reason you gotta stop at Emerald and it's, and em basically diamond is like, a you're just repeating Emerald over and over again. You know, you're always just you know, making sure that you're getting new coaches on your team. I think when I was a brand new coach, Amy told me it was a really good idea to be trying to recruit two to three a month. Um, just as a goal to build a business. Like if you want it to grow into a team. Um, I saw one question that said, does it have to be HD? It does to stay active. Your home, your, um, PV does have to be like under your account and under your coaches accounts. It does have to be on home direct to be active. That's good. I'm going to read this out loud. So people watching the recording can um, hear it. A dream written down becomes a goal, a goal broken down into steps becomes a plan, a plan backed by action becomes a reality. Love that. Mm -hmm. So true. And I really do hope you guys all take the time to, if you can't print out the diamond roadmap thing that Kate's going to post, I'll make sure it's in team TCB too. Then just write it out. Like I was starting to write it out on my paper here. Um, so it's just, just writing it out sometimes can help you be more visual. I've had coaches that are halfway to diamond and they didn't even realize until I wrote it out for them. And I was like, look, you just got to fill in a few more people. So 
um, I think it can just be really helpful to just visualize it and then just jot people down as prospects. I mean, it's, it's easy to just think about the people in your life, you know, like you're, we have a that whole call we did on coach recruiting, I think like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, it was within a month, but you know, it's thinking about even just starting with your own friends and family, just in your own you know, like who can help you get to that goal? Who can you have a real conversation with and just be like, I'm striving for this goal. Do you want to do it with me? Um, kind of like we're doing right now. I mean, it's just like being real and just asking for help and who wants to build your team with you. Um, so that kind of answered the question. What are your best suggestions for recruiting coaches? Um, and you should just watch that call. Um, and we can post, we will post that with the screenshot of the diamond round wrap road map. And what I would suggest doing is I don't have a printer at home, but, um, what I'm going to do, because I have my second CBC, I have a giant whiteboard. Um, but what I, I also like doing is printing things out at like FedEx or wherever you can go UPS and then laminating it because you can do it for like under five bucks. I don't know. It's your business. And so it's like being like, okay, if I don't do this, this is just helpful steps to have that image. Um, so yeah, if you are somebody who's looking for suggestions on how to recruit coaches, definitely go watch that team call. But basically the breakdown is like, share about it. The biggest thing is like, you have to share about it on your social media. You have to invite to it. Um, we do also have that document that Amber created of all the different invites for coaching that's in the files as well. Yeah. And we do, me and Kate are hosting a coach, um, like peak peak thing too. Um, we hosted one at the end of last month and it was, it was pretty successful. Like, you know, basically it's just like a three day thing. So you can still add people to that and the videos are still up or we're going to be doing it again coming up pretty soon. I forget the date, the 22nd, I think it's the day after the super Saturday weekend. So we'll start promoting that soon. And like, I think it's a great idea for you guys to just, you don't have to, you know, present in that group, but you can just invite people to it, you know, use us as just a tool. Like, Hey, my team, you know, like my coach is going to be explaining like what we do. It'd be really rad if you wanted to get, be part of it, you know, just, and then you can plug them into that and just let us do the sharing. And then you, all your job really is to do is check in with them and be like, did you watch the videos? What do you think? Um, and so that's like another way too. Yeah. So you don't have to like word vomit. You can just let us talk about it. And that group is currently called Project Coach. We're going to change it because we're like, every time we do it, we will change the name. But yeah, um, it's a great resource to use, especially because you really don't have to do anything except plug, plug people in and check in on them. Um, Sarah asked, did you say hold diamond for six weeks equals lifetime rank? So this is where it gets tricky. Once you go diamond, you guys go diamond, you will be the lifetime rank of diamond for us as a team to ad advance to other ranks. We have to hold it for six weeks as a team. So for instance, because we have multiple people who are my personally sponsored coaches on right now, Ollie, don't walk over the keyboard right now. Um, but for instance, my second CBC should get my two star when my second CBC is close to diamond right now, but say, I got that back. I would get my two star back. Um, and then let's say Sarah and Eden, all you guys went, um, diamond and say we would start four star qualification because we have four diamonds with Amber, my second CVC, Eden and Sarah. Um, if Eden dropped her, her, qualification. Not saying you would, Eden. I'm not saying you would. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying for this example, if that happened, then, um, but Sarah held it for six weeks, we would be three star qual or we would end three star and then go back into four star qualification with Eden getting her diamond back. If that makes sense. But Sarah would still be diamond. But Sarah would still be diamond. Yeah. So you will be, and Eden would still be diamond if she lost it during the six weeks. It's just as a team to rank advance. If you want your coach to benefit from your rank advance and the team as a whole to achieve that next rank, um, it's holding it. And that's the fun part. <laughs> and I, I just want to say really quick, I think it's kind of cool to think about, I mean, the first step, you know, being Emerald and then being diamond and getting, um, you get like a t-shirt and a bracelet, <laughs> you go diamond, you get a better pay. Um, 
but you be kind of become like, you know, we have, I don't know what the, what the, the, uh, statistic or the percentage is, but it's low. I mean, not many people, even though diamond's not that hard, you're still kind of becoming a more, it's like a more prestigious role. A lot of people are just discount coaches. They fall off. So just getting to diamonds, a pretty amazing feat, you know, in itself, because it shows that you're not a quitter, you've built a team. Um, and then when you are one star now, if you hold one star and you become one star, you get invited to the new leaders conference, which is every, February. So I got invited. They used to be two star, but now they let one stars in. So I got to go this last February. And, you know, if any of you guys have been to summit, that's really awesome. But going to the new leader conference, which is for new one, two stars, um, I guess anybody that's under five, but ranked at least to one star was super special. You know, like we got, it was just, I felt very spoiled. You know, we got, I got a free hotel room cause I like did something extra and earned it. I think we all did. We all had our own rooms. It was like at a really nice JW Marriott in downtown LA. And we went to this party where like Autumn's taking pictures with people and there's just like sushi. I can't stop. I like still to this day. I'm like, this is free. Like I'm such a nerd, but I'm like just being spoiled on that level. So then the next step, when you are five star, then you go to leadership and that's every October. And they just did that in Vegas. And, you know, leadership is for five star and elite people. So, you know, me and Kate were having huge FOMO because we were just like, dude, we have the points. We have an awesome team. We just aren't five star yet. So we're going to be there next year, but you guys can be there too. It doesn't mean you have to like pay all these dues. Like you literally could be five star with us there next October and they get so spoiled. Like when we went to summit, they always get something, they get like a guitar or they get like a jumpsuit and they get to sit in the front. Like they're very much treated as like royalty, royalty of the beach body world, which sounds so lame, but you just get perks. You get really cool gifts. Obviously you're making way more money. They just treat you really well. I'm, I'm, if, if, new leader conference was cool that I'm sure leadership was like amazing. So that is just for me, like, I don't know, I get excited about that. So I don't know if that excites you at all, but it's just those little things, you know, when you start to like be in the, in the room with like those people that you see on the national wake up call and get to like meet Jeff Hill and you get to like meet these people and like rub elbows with like corporate. I think it, it's really it's just exciting. Like you just feel more special and, and like Beachbody has a really, they just really reward the coaches that work. And, um, I just, I see it and i I feel like we're so close and I think it's really exciting that you guys could be there with us too. It doesn't mean like you can get to diamond, but you could also build your own five-star team totally within by then. Like you have so much time. So just because it's taken me and Kate longer doesn't mean it has to take anyone that long. Like it can happen really quick. And I don't know, it's just, it's really exciting to me because yeah, when I got to go to new leader conference with Kate, I was just feeling really like special that I got to be there. And also too, I just want to say, I don't know what Kate's plans are, but when I, when team TCB goes five star, like I'm taking my diamonds on a freaking retreat, I'm going to use my bonus and we're going to go somewhere and I'm going to like spoil the hell out of you guys, because I see other coaches doing that. And I just, can't afford it yet. And I don't have anyone to treat, but like when whoever my five diamonds are, like we're going somewhere epic. I might have to bring my baby, but it's cool. And uh, it'll still be really fun. Cause I want to do, I want to have a retreat. I want to like take my team somewhere and like, that sounds just so amazing. So, um, I will say I have, uh, yeah, like one of the first things that I loved and like one big motivator going diamond was I knew I needed to build my income to go full time. And then Amy was advertising a diamond retreat. And I was like, I've never been out of the country. And this is a retreat to Costa Rica. And I get to be with other leaders like that, like excited me and motivated me. I was like, I'm making that happen. Um, and then when I was there, I was so emotional. It still makes me emotional because like, one thing that I say on every, I'm pretty sure I say this every call. I feel like I say it every call, but like even before, cause I had no belief in myself when I started coaching, like I, maybe I had like this much, but you know who believed in me? Amy believed in me. And what that like felt huge for me because nobody in my life believed in me. Nobody believed I could do this, but she believed in me before I could. And Amber and I believe in you guys, even if you're not there yet. So it's time for like you to level up for yourself. But what I knew was 
when I was there, I was like, I can't wait to do this for one of my coaches. And then I got to do it for Amber when we went to Puerto Rico and there is a diamond retreat. And if you're my personally sponsored you coach, you probably know about it. Um, so like, it's definitely something I plan on doing too. And like, that's part of it. Like I love trips. I want to be able to go on trips with all you guys. And then when Amber goes elite, we'll have to figure it'll be a trip with your baby. It'll be something, but it's just fun. Like I, <laughs> we will figure it out. We will make some sort of extravagant trip out of it. Um, but like, it's just really cool that yes, Beachbody has this wonderful recognition team, but we get to recognize each other because we are like in society these days. It's not very, recognition isn't like a common thing. Um, I don't know any job that really gives you free trips or celebrates you every week for advancing your business or having record pay weeks or, you know, just helping people or showing up like we have here. And this is like a really special, cool part of it. Um, and it can, you guys can go elite way faster than we have and we are. Um, because I'm saying are because six weeks, it will happen. And we are going to prove everybody wrong, especially if you're my person sponsored coach. You have heard me say this. Amy said it on the team call a couple of weeks ago. She's like, Caitlin's going to end this year premiere. And I'm like, we're going to end this year from elite, not premiere. I'm going to show you. Premiere is two star, just so you guys know. Yeah. Premiere is also an amazing, amazing accomplishment, but elite is what I have my sights set on and that's, what's going to happen. Um, but I mean, like I want to prove people wrong and prove people that we can do it. Um, but damn it. I lost my train of thought again. Oh, Amy Rada. Okay. So this, co this coach right now who is in the top 10, I think she's been a coach for like a year less than a year and she's like seven star and in the top 10 and it took her less than a year. So if there is any like thing about us, like being in this business longer or taking forever to make this happen, like you guys don't have to take as long as we took. You can work harder. You can work smarter because you're learning from our mistakes and what we have done that has taken us longer we've made those detours but you know what it's what's even better is like a good comeback story and that's what we're gonna have this year totally and i will say i saw a amy amy rada is that her name mm -hmm. amy rada spoke on a panel at summit that i was on that i listened to and she, her story her coach is jamie ennis um who's also one of my success partners coaches but um she told the story about how she was asked several times to coach and she turned down, she turned down Jamie Ennis like several times and was like, coaching's not for me. Coaching's not for me. And then one day it was like, okay, maybe coaching is for me. And then, okay, a year later, <laughs> coaching isn't for me, but I'm just going to be in the top 10. Yeah. So it's like people just make a decision. And I think a lot of it has to do with like belief. We keep talking about that. It's hard to instill belief. You know, we believe in you, but it's kind of like you have to believe in yourself. And I think what the, because I rack my brain all the time trying to figure out what the hell everybody's doing to like advance this quick. And it's, it has to just be obviously working every day, inviting, you know, doing all the things, but it's belief. I mean, they believe in themselves and they get a couple wins. I mean, think about it. If you just were like, I think I'm going to apply myself. And you just had like two diamonds pop underneath you. You'd pretty much be like, obviously I'm good at this. And then you would like, you know what I mean? So I feel like you get a couple wins and then it just like, you just explode. So that's the only thing I can think of as why these people um, are able to see such great success. They just believe. And I think it's, um, who's that other one that we're always thinking about that went, she was a school teacher that was like, Oh her, yeah. What's her face? She's, she's actually, like making $9,000 in three months of coaching or something. She has a new last name now that she just got married. Um, but yeah, name? well, her first name's Katie. Okay. Well, she's like someone that just is newer to the business too. I had a point. I wasn't just going to talk about how much money she made. Oh, I think Amy was on like a push group with her. And I think Amy asked her, well, what did, what's, what was different for you? And she was like, I just never thought I couldn't. I don't know. I just thought I could do it. You know? So it's literally just, you know, that doesn't, it's sometimes not helpful to hear that because <laughs> they're like, cool. What did you do? <laughs> I just believed in myself, but it's like true. It's, it really is just believing and just not take, not accepting that it's not going to happen. So 
There you have it. You have secrets. <laughs> <laughs> There's a secret. <laughs> seriously but I really hope that you guys put like new leader conference and leadership and those things on your own vision board it was really cool being able to go to a new leader conference for the first time you only get invited once you get to go to leadership multiple times but you only get invited to new leader conference once and it was really cool being able to experience that with Amber and it when's the cutoff to get re into that because that that's already happened right for 2019 think so I know people have gotten invites I don't think they've stopped doing invites yet for it so if anyone win one star you could be there in February yeah at the new leader conference it is really cool being spoiled I remember walking in it was like you it was Amber Amanda Ellen Bree and I was that was that the group that we walked in with? And I remember we were walking in and we were seeing all these other like elite coach. We were seeing like elite coaches and all these people in the business who we looked up to. And we're like, Oh my God, should we be here? Should we? We're like, wait, we, we deserve to be here. Our name is on these little name tags that says new leader conference. And I was like, I'm supposed to be here, but it's like a really cool feeling to be spoiled by Beachbody and to have that recognition and to know that like you're doing something. And there's also just something about that, that forces you to like want to level up because you get amazing trainings. You get that quality time. There's smaller events. Like summit is like craziness because it's so many people. It's like going, going, going nonstop for days, not days. It's like four days, but, um, Three days, four days. I don't even know what is life. What is it's like three days, like two full days of workshops and a general session, but it's like three if you count the opening day. It just feels like forever. It's a blast. I love it every year. I've been four years, five years, four years. Um, but it is like cool to be in a smaller setting. I think there were like 600 of us at new leader conference or something like that. And so you're with like a smaller groups, so the trainings are smaller. You get to work out live with like, we got to work out with autumn and that was really fun. And it's just like a different experience completely. And, um, especially because summit now they're starting to do more like leadership trainings, but, um, it is more catered to newer coaches. And this is like training as you grow as a leader, which is really cool. And it's a fun thing to share about. Um, but yeah, if anybody else has any questions. Thanks for being on the call, you guys. Um, yeah, if you guys think of any questions after too, like you can always ask us or post in the groups and Kate's gonna up, I don't know if she, have you already put that no, I'm roadmap up. Okay. She's going to do that. And then I'll make sure that it's in um, our team page too. But, um, I, you know, as your mentor, I would love to see a screenshot of it. Even if there's no, even if you don't have anyone yet, or maybe you just have your husband or your friend, like I still want to see a name on there or ideas uh, or a date, you know, like I would love to just see that you guys actually took some time tonight or tomorrow if you need to go to bed. I know it's late on the East Coast. But, um, you know, by tomorrow, just to hold you guys accountable, I would love to see a date of when, I mean, before, <laughs> before November 21st. <laughs> um, I guess that's not really hard to come up with. So between now and November 21st and sooner the better. And then just, just to show that you're thinking about names and who, I don't know, who else could be on your team. Okay. All right. Before I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the training and save the thing to my phone to make that. Um, but yeah, and I mean, yeah, Cass is already. She's already written it down. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, Sarah's oh, got it too. Sweet. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Um, but again, this is like a team thing, and it's not something we can do alone. Right now, I'm building my second business center, and then I'm building Dylan. Amber, unfortunately, isn't. Can't, doesn't have other accounts to build. So if you do have a spouse account to build or a parent account or whatever, like use it because there are people who can't and who are envious of you. Um, but once she gets to two stars, she'll get to open her second CVC, which is really exciting um, because then you get to grow that. But like just we're doing all that we can to make this happen. And again, we're doing it for obviously our businesses, but we're doing it for the team.
because we want you guys to walk into summit next year. Like hopefully no matter where you are, like you walk in really proud and excited, but there's just a different like air of recognition and like feeling when you get to be like, you're in the part 0.003% of the company or 0.001% of the company. Like that is what elite coaches are. That's what elite teams are. And one thing that I picture, um, and then we can end this call. But so at the end or beginning of the year, the corporate calls you um, to do these like elite and premier calls and they call you to like congratulate you. And every, like it makes me emotional. Like this specific thing is what I think about when I think of elite. Um, Cause they have their family or they have their team on and like, they're all like, you got elite. And they like screen record it. And I'm going to cry because every time I'm like, this will be our team this will be us. And I just like, that's what I hold on to is like that feeling and knowing that it's not just our businesses are growing, but your guys' businesses and you're achieving those goals and you're achieving those dreams and you're helping people and helping yourself too. So thank you guys. We appreciate you. And I can't wait to see your diamond roadmaps. Bye guys.